What's up everyone and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you the fastest way that I found to cut down your footage. Now this is for when you have a large amount of footage, like 100 to 200, 300 clips, and you're trying to trim down the best part of that clip. I used to do the click and drag and in and out points, but it took so long. So this is actually the fastest way and all you have to do is use your keyboard. So let's jump into it. But first, wash your hands. I also want to let you guys know that I'm launching my Discord server for free. So all of you can join my Discord. It's a place where we can talk about editing. You can share your videos. You can share your setup. We can pretty much chat about anything and just kind of start a conversation. I will also be adding some gaming lobbies and editing lobbies, one-on-one -on -one type stuff so that whenever I'm on my computer, you guys can chat with me directly right away since I'm probably going to be on my computer quite a bit. Just click the link in the description down below and join my Discord server. Right now we have just over 35 members on it, so join in and let's make this thing awesome. As you guys know, I always give away one free version of my Ultimate Effects Pack. Check it out down below if you want to enter the giveaway. The first key that we need to understand is the Q key, and that is the Ripple Trim Previous Edit to Playhead. So all it does is if you're playing through your clip, if you hit Q, it will delete the entire first half of your clip just like so. And as you guessed it, the next one that we need is the W key, which is the ripple trim next edit to playhead. So all that does is if you're in your timeline and you hit W, it will actually delete the entire back half of that clip. So just think of it as Q is the front half and W is your back half of your clip. Now the next one is J, K, and L. So J basically rewinds your clip and L fast forwards your clips. And if you hit L twice, it'll keep going faster and faster, as in like two times. Now, one little tip that you can use is if you don't wanna go double time, you just wanna go a little bit faster, you can hold shift and L, and it'll jump in increments of 10%. So you can scan your footage very quickly. So I just typically keep my fingers right here on the keyboard in the Q, W, and the J, K, and L. So I can go back and forth really quick. Also, you can go right and left a couple frames with your right and left arrow keys if you want. The final thing that I need to show you is shift delete. Shift delete is ripple delete and that will actually delete your entire clip that you have selected. And that brings me to the next thing. When you are scrubbing through your timeline, if your next clip doesn't highlight automatically, you need to do something to make that possible. Go up to sequence and then go down to selection follows playhead and make sure that is checked because this process will not work without that. So let's show you how I start cutting down my footage. In simplest terms, I'm just going through my footage and trying to find out what I would like. And if I don't want anything else after this clip, I'm going to hit W. That'll delete the entire back half. And now I'm just scro scrolling through using J, K, and L to fast forward to find the part that I want. So I'm going to rewind using J. I found my starting point, so I'm going to hit Q. That'll delete my entire front half. And I'm going to play it forward to a point that I want. So right about there. And then I'm going to hit W. Now, keep in mind, there is one more thing that you can do. So if you find a good starting point, like I'm going to choose this point right here. So I'm going to hit Q to make that my starting point. And I want to make a cut here, but I don't want to delete the entire back half because it's a long clip. All you have to do is hit Control K because Control K will actually put a little cut in your clip. And then I can start to go on to find my next starting point. So I'm gonna use L fast forward quite a bit to find my next point. Let's say I wanna start right here. So then I'm gonna hit Q and then go back, fast forward a little bit. And then I want to delete the entire back half. So I'm gonna hit W. So you can kind of see how this process works really fast. You can cut down a vast majority of your footage by easily just using your fingers on your keyboard. And honestly, that's pretty much it. It's a super efficient way to cut down your clip and it makes it so much fun because you are just using your keyboard and you can really just kind of go through here and chop down your clips as much as you want. 
So to recap, it's pretty easy. Just use Q and W to delete the front or the back half of your clip. Control K to cut your clip and shift delete to delete a clip that you don't want. That's pretty much it. Use JKL to go forwards, backwards and stop it and it'll help you cut a lot faster. All right, we're at that point in the video where I get to read some comments on my last tutorial. Let's do it. Documented says, can you do a Brandon Lee masking tutorial like when he comes out of holes into new scenes? I'll definitely add that onto my list of things to do because I have a lot of time to do tutorials now. Peter says, dope intro. Yes, please tutorial. I'll work on a tutorial for you guys because I know a lot of you have been asking. Jason Anthony said, boy, this is gold. When you coming back to Cali, man, we miss you. Well, hopefully when this uh, COVID stuff dies down, I'll be able to make a trip out there, my dude. Aman says, let's start a convo. Let's start a convo. Drop a comment down below and we can start a little chain and just kind of chat about life. That'd be awesome. Mr. Karmar says, new logo. I'm going to need new stickers. Yeah, I'll work on some stickers. I just kind of changed my logo and uh, hopefully I can get some... I don't know, graphics, t-shirts, you know, hoodies. I'll think of something cool uh, here in the future. But as always, drop a comment down below if you guys want to be featured in the end of my next tutorial. But that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit that like button, drop a comment down below. Subscribe if you're new because I'm gonna be making some more stuff in the future. I'll see you guys next time.